What's going on everybody? Kevin Vidini here for another short episode of Super Power Review. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Sunday. Um, it is Sunday, so you know what us comic book collectors do on Sundays. We love to go to flea markets. So today I'm going to go to a flea market that I've never been to before called the Big Top Flea. It's in Providence, Rhode Island. I have not been there before, but I heard that there is like one or two vendors there that sell comic books. So we're going to go there. Uh, we're going to check it out. Hopefully I can find something, uh, something or some things that are pretty cool. Uh, I want to be just like you guys who share stories on Instagram about finding like big keys for like a dollar, something stupid cheap like that. So maybe I can get that lucky today. You never know. But uh, let's let's uh, let's jump in the car and see what they have. So let's go. Alright guys, I'm back home from the flea market. Um, there was only like two comic book vendors there. One of them I didn't get to go to because I guess the, the guy wasn't there. But that's okay because he only had like um, like dollar books, uh, which is fine. I just don't have the room for dollar books. But as you can see in the video already, the vendor that I went to had some pretty cool stuff. He had a lot of cool stuff. Um, he uh, wasn't very... Um, organized with his books so uh, even though he had like a as you could see in the video he had like you know uh, like wall books if you go through searching through his books you just never knew what you were gonna find so I ended up having a lot of stuff in my hand I had a Swamp Thing number one in my hand which I was gonna pick up but you wanted like fifty dollars for it and it was a little bit beat like uh, on the cover there was like some um, I don't know if like the tape from the bag got on it and kind of ripped it a little bit. That's what it looked like to me. So I ended up passing it, but that's okay because um, the guy who was hunting right next to me ended up picking it up, so that's fine. And then I ended up dropping a, um, I can't remember the issue number, but it's a X-Men cover, the first appearance of Mr. Sinister, the Mark Silvestri cover. He wanted $30 for that. I didn't pick it up. Uh, the spine wasn't as good as I wanted to and I tried talking him down like 20 bucks, but he didn't take it But I ended up picking up two books. I'll show you guys uh, Nothing too crazy, but it was pretty cool to find these books now the reason why I bought these books um, I've been looking for these books for a while and I told myself that I would only buy these books if I found them in the wild which I did because I didn't want to like go out of my way paying shipping on eBay for these books You know, it's just one of those things if I see it I'll buy it and if, of course, if it's the good price. So I ended up buying two books. Let's see, which one do we want to start with? I'll start off with this one. So uh, I did pick up a Swamp Thing book. I picked up Swamp Thing number seven. Awesome uh, Bernie Wrightson cover. You know, classic Bernie Wrightson with Len Wayne. Uh, I've been looking for this book for a little bit because obviously Batman is in this comic book. Um, and I really love the Swamp Thing titles on these books. Um, you know, I'm not a uh, huge DC guy. You know, when it comes to DC, as you guys know, I'm only into Batman, but I'm kind of interested in Swamp Thing. Um, what started my love interest for Swamp Thing is uh, someone commissioned me to do a Swamp Thing for them, to draw Swamp Thing, and that kind of like piqued my interest in the character. So I have a Swamp Thing number nine. Uh, it's beat to hell, but it was good enough for for a dollar. But I picked up picked this book up for fifteen bucks. It says twenty dollars on the sticker. But I picked that picked that up for fifteen. I I just I think it's really cool, really cool cover. Swamp Thing. But uh, pretty much the only reason why I got this is because Batman. Batman's in it. Um, but I would love to get more of uh, Swamp Thing, like maybe like issues one through ten. Man, I really wish he had like another Swamp Thing number number one. But it was it was B. I'm glad I left it behind because you know if I did pick it up, I probably would have had like you know buyer's remorse a little bit like. I shouldn't have got that, but so Swamp Thing number seven, pretty cool. All right, so my last book, this book is pretty minty, guys. It's pretty clean. 
really, really clean. Um, I picked up a uh, copy of Daredevil number 181, which is the death of Elektra. Really cool. Uh, some Frank Miller artwork. Can't go wrong with Frank Miller work. Uh, especially when it's this earlier artwork. Um, not so much like when it comes to like Dark, uh, the Dark Knight Returns. Don't really care too much about his artwork there. But uh, pick this up. Found this at the flea market, which was pretty cool. Um, the guy wanted uh, he wanted 40 for this, and I talked him down to 25. And I thought that was a really good price. But this thing's super minty. There's like maybe one little spine tick like right there, but it's really not that bad. This thing is a pretty mint copy man clean corners so i'm glad i picked this book up because i've been looking for this book for quite some time too so that's what i ended up picking up today guys uh two books didn't spend a whole lot of money like i wanted to i wanted to pick up so much more but the guy wanted too much money for his stuff so i picked up these two books here swamp thing number seven and daredevil number 181 so i think the I feel like these were some pretty good grabs. So what do you guys think? Did I pick up some pretty good books? If you thought so, please leave a like on this video. I would gladly appreciate it because, you know, th as you know, these videos take some time and take a little bit of work. So a like goes a long way. And uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, that also shows uh, a little bit of love. Um, normally I don't do stuff out in the field, but sometimes I do. Most of the videos are in studio, so uh, that's always fun to do videos there. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys really soon.